hello hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is Tondile and this is cues beyond fashion today i'm here to demonstrate to you guys an easy way of drafting your own basic sleeve in this channel we are absolutely crazy about fashion and sewing if you also love fashion and sewing then this is definitely your home please do subscribe and also hit on the notifications bell just to make sure that you never miss any of our future videos. Let's get down to real business. In today's lesson, we're going to use the following materials. A pattern paper, a tape measure, a pair of scissors, a ruler, a French curve, a marker, and a masking tape. To begin drafting our basic sleeve, we're first going to take our pattern paper and fold it into two equal parts like that. Next, we are going to use a ruler to roll out a straight line at the top, like so. This will be our starting point of our sleeve. In this case, we'll be drafting my own basic sleeve, which means I'll be using my own measurements. The measurements are as follows. The shoulder to wrist measurement is 22 inches. Shoulder to elbow is 12 inches. Bicep circumference is 14.5 inches. The elbow circumference is 12.5 inches. The wrist circumference is 8 inches. In order to begin our basic sleeve, we first have to mark the length. We have to mark the length of our sleeve cap. In order to be able to calculate the sleeve cap length, you first have to get the basic bodies on which you are going to be attaching this sleeve to. In my case, this is my basic bodies which I drafted in one of the previous videos. If you don't know how to draft your own basic bodies, please do check on the description box. I'm going to leave a link to the video about drafting a basic bodies. Next, you are going to measure the armhole depth on the basic bodies. In my case, the armhole depth is 8.5 inches. Next, you are going to calculate the sleeve cap using the following formula. You divide the armhole depth by 3 and then take the result and multiply it by 2. In my case, the armhole depth is 8.5 inches. And then I divide it by 3 and the answer is 2.83 inches. Next, I multiply 2.83 by 2 and the result is 5.7 inches. Next, I mark the sleeve cap length, which is 5.7 inches, like so. Next, I join the two points, like so. This is the bicep line, and then I can label it, like so. Next, we are going to measure the length from the shoulder to the elbow. In my case, it is 12 inches. Next, we join the points using a straight line, like so. This is the elbow line. Next, we are going to measure the distance from the shoulder to the wrist. In my case, it is 22 inches. And then, we join the points using a straight line, like so. Label the straight line as the wrist Next, we're going to divide the wrist circumference by 2 and make a mark. In my case, the wrist circumference is 8 inches. If I divide it by 2, the result is 4. And then I'm going to add an ease of 0.25 inches just, just to make sure that my hand can fit on the opening. So I will mark 4.25 inches like so. Next, along the elbow line, the elbow circumference is 12.5 inches. If we divide it by 2, the answer is 6.25 inches. Next, we divide the bicep circumference by 2. In my case, the bicep circumference is 14.5 inches. If I divide it by 2, the answer will be 7.25 inches. Next, we get a ruler and join the three points. Next, we're going to join the bicep line to the line on the sleeve head, like so. And then, 
we are going to find the midpoint of this diagonal line like so and then we may we make a mark like so next we are going to mark 0 0.5 inches on the midpoint next we are going to shape the slip head by first joining this point to the top of the slip head like so and then we turn around our French curve to join this part to this part on the bicep line. Like so. Next, we're going to use our French curve to join this midpoint to the top of our slip head, like so. And then we use also our French curve to join from this point to the bicep line, like so. Now our sleeve is almost complete. We are going to use a pair of scissors to first cut the outer part of the sleeve head and cut it right through to the bottom of the sleeve. Now this part, the outer part, will be the back of our sleeve and then later we are going to cut the inner part which will be the front of our sleeve. Use a pair of scissors to cut around the sleeve on the outer part like so next you're going to open up the sleeve like so and then make sure that you draw all the lines to the other side next we are going to label the front and the back remember this is going to be the back and this will be the front remember we haven't finished cutting out the front we are going to cut out this bit which was denoting the back and this the remainder will be the front we get a pair of scissors and then cut out the extra bit like so Now this is the complete basic sleeve, this is the back and this is the front. The next thing that you can do now is to make a 0.5 inch seam allowance all around the pattern. We are first going to get a blank sheet of pattern paper and then trace the basic sleeve block on the new pattern paper and then mark the seam allowance. Now we can tape down the basic sleeve, next we are going to start by drawing these lines and extend them to the other pattern paper below, like so. Also draw the wrist line like this. Now using a straight ruler, trace all the outer parts of the base. Next, using a French curve, trace all the curved parts of the sleeve. Next, we're going to remove the sleeve from the top, like so. Then join any incomplete lines, like so. Next, we're going to draw all the lines, starting with the elbow line. And then the bicep line and then we can label the line next we are going to mark a 0.5 inch seam allowance all around the basic bodies remember to mark the back and the front to mark the seam allowance along the wrist line you have to fold your pattern paper along the wrist line like so this will be easier if you're using a tracing paper or if you're using a pattern paper that is easy for you to see on the other side. Next, you can draw along the seam allowance on the other side, like so. And also even on the other side. And then use a ruler to mark the seam allowance, like so. Next, open up the sleeve and mark the seam allowance on the line drawn on the other side like so next if you can look 
the seam allowance along the wrist line is not straight like so this is to ensure that when you are hemming along the wrist line you do not run out of fabric at the end like so before cutting out the basic sleeve please get the original sleeve and put it on top of the new basic sleeve like so make sure that you mark the midline which is going to act as your crease line mark it like so and also mark it at the top like so use a long ruler to join these two points which will give you the crease line this will be your crease line next you have to use a pair of scissors to cut out the basic space now to make sure that the sleeve head is going to fit around the armhole of the basic bodice you have to get the two pieces of the basic bodice which is the front and the back put them together along the shoulders like so and tape them down using a masking tape next you are going to fit the basic sleeve along the armhole like so start from the beginning and then move the sleeve slightly like that slightly shifting until you get to the other end which is the front as you think for yourselves my basic lift does fit along the armhole from the back right to the front thank you so much guys for watching today's lesson up to the end if you enjoyed the video do hit on the like button also if you haven't subscribed do subscribe and also hit on the notifications bell just to make sure that you never miss any of our future videos also leave us a comment and tell us what you think of the video and maybe give us a hint of what you would love for our future videos to be about. Thank you and may God bless you all.